slouches. No slouches either. One of the most versatile teams in the league, actually, when it comes to playing all yeah. these different compositions. So, New York Excelsior now. You got a Blizzard and an Allied Nation to work with. And, I mean, it's not last fight territory, but it's getting pretty close here for Washington to close this one out. Yeah, and they don't have a rule. Oh, the oh, advantage. Well Annoying my wall, but Psycho won't have a better one here. He barrels towards Mira, and he's frozen stiff in a matter of seconds. Psycho Ice Block now as the Dragon Strike comes through and does nothing but split up New York for a short time. It's going to be Fitz finding his opposite number this time around, and from here on out, it's a done deal. Done deal indeed. Just some clean up here for the New York Excels. You're a good fight there. Just invested the Blizzard. And now you have some ultimates to work with as you build your lead back up here. Washington Justice, you only have an Annihilation for now. I think you want to bait out some ultimates here if you order Washington Justice. You have a couple of fights to play with here, really. If you can get out Kellan's Annihilation, for example, maybe even Creative's uh, Amplification Matrix, that could be a path for success for the Washington Justice. Once more, going to pick this outdoors area. Flank on the cold side. Sonic here, Dragon Strike, thrown in. Looks like a quick, hasty... Ice block okay. briefly from Alpha Gear, but FD God gets caught by that one. Well, I wouldn't say it's uncharacteristic, but it's definitely not what you want to see. Yeah, another annihilation in a shorthanded scenario here for the Justice. That one, they're going to wish they had that back. Yeah, these are mistakes that you can't really afford to do if you're the Washington Justice. Mirror there, utilizing the annihilation. Oh my Ooh. god, that's filthy. Down 4 5. And now Washington Justice, now we're getting to final fight territory. Either team with an opportunity to close out this map, and Washington Justice. They have a couple of ultimates, but New York Excelsior with a great, great chance to win this first map. Oh, and that was the Justice's window to part, to force New York to part with more than just a Dragon Strike that ended Absolutely. up winning in the fight. Fitz, again, knows where they're coming from. Sonic Arrow for a little bit of advance notice. Terror's Ant Matrix here can be tighter to some degree. Ice Wall also going to help in that sense. Creative is one of his own anyway. Time is ticking for the Justice. Now or never here is this map yes, hangs in the balance. Blizzard thrown down. Okay, pretty straightforward. Alpha Gear comes forward. Can they keep Kellen alive? Not quite. Creative's immortality field is brought down quickly by FD. Got in the focus. He's good for the justice. They found two, make it three kills. And they're gonna be back in control. Only a few seconds left of the round. Just a few seconds left. I think Lep will pretty much have to throw himself at the point here. You're la lacking Psycho and Kellen, who are crucial to touch the point here. Creative has no choice but to just wait for the rest of his team. Can he get there? Can they get there? That is the question. Lev coming in for it. He's there. Sound barrier just for left. He's able to keep the round alive here. And here come the rest of New York left. Of course, an expected casualty of that exchange. But look, New York at least have a chance. Dragon Strike, that's well placed. Kellen goes pretty low here, but desperately creative. Tries to top him up in the background. It's time for the Annihilation now. Teru trying to get across the map. Creator's immortality field is finally brought down. The Washington Justice somehow look like they're getting away with it yet again. And somebody didn't tell Creative or Kellen. Excelsior, they don't have a lot of time to work with, but if Excelsior wants to win this series, they need to do a lot of work here on point B and see the closest one out. So the first step is establishing a staging ground up here on these rooftops. Shockwave staved off there. Very unlikely the Justice want to give him a timeshare of the penthouse suite. Just biding their time for now. They have this knowledge with Excelsior, right? So, see if there's an opening. Kellan can perhaps use this as a Maybe he'll get a kill this time. Maybe. Who knows? See, very powerful that Nano Winston puts a lot of pressure on your backline. Ooh, Alvi. Coming off a little second best there against our Austrian pro. Looking to get upstairs here and try and stave off the Winston. Great, uh, I guess, awareness of this appeal necessity. Psycho goes down. Yeah, he goes bad. forward while Kellen jockeys back. You need to survive there. You've secured the high ground. Kellen from a range here, and they're still going for it with the auto boost, but they don't have a tracer. That is filthy. Almost feel like Alpha was holding onto the pulse there, just in case Fitz was going to get nanoed. As the nano comes out, he knows he can recommit to the fight in earnest. 90 seconds again. This is becoming a tale as old as time for New York. They're running out of seconds. So they get this card all over the line. And that is perhaps a bad trait from the New York Excelsior. Statistically, they like to invest ultimates when they're down men, actually, in some of these team fights. And that is one example where, I mean, you invest in Onibus when you don't have a Tracer. Sure, you're contesting the high ground, but this is, again, going to be an uphill battle for New York Excelsior. You only have a minute to work with. You only have a Rally and a full Bump. And you don't have the high ground anymore. You would have loved to have that Nonibus back. Yeah. So many teams, yeah, brute forcing their way up to this high ground via some combination of ultimates. The ones available to New York now aren't great, so it's the old-fashioned approach. Two legs and a heartbeat, says Kellen. Forward he comes. Dragon Strike here to try and... What the heck? 
Oh my goodness, Alfie gets creative with the pulse bomb. Fitz, <laughs> just gonna hope this is over with pretty quickly. And this is dangerous now. There's some stagger elements to this fight. Psycho eventually is brought down. A slap upside the head for his audacity. And now for you oh, reestablishes this his dominance. Is brutal. This is disgusting. Yeah, that's uh he's gonna come back late and he has a crucial rally. That is a great stall. Oh man, 17 seconds left in the round here. Fitz now knows what FRD felt like, just a little bit at least. Back in wow, the day. That was a throwback. It's a bit of a deep Opportune cut, if I'm time. honest. It's yeah. a deep cut. Oh, oh no! He got sacked! My goodness, Mira! Channeling the lightning of Thor across the map. Connects a shockwave. There was a bit of damage in there, I'm sure, from Flora. But that is going to hamstring New York in a big way. Mira still has the perch. He's that Dragon Strike from Shockwave. To try and hope it to the fight has some impact, but it's so telegraphed at this point. Alfie just recalls. He knows there's going to be a primal here. He's even able to snap up that mega health pack and go back to work. Fitz is in danger. Creative is barely hanging on there behind the hay bales, and Alfie again oh. just slows it down, pushes in, throwing out a pulse bomb from Psycho, though now might be time to be a bit more decisive here out for these pulse bomb though, does not connect. He's able to act as the other half of the pits for Mira though, and Creative is crunch fit soon to follow. Psycho doing an admirable job on his own here. He and Kellen combining to keep the card moving. No supports here, so Kellen has to go for the Mega Pack Shockwave, has no way of healing himself, and he goes down. Only Psycho goes in the card. Nano for Mira, very early in terms of his engagement. It's expired just now here, so it's going to have to be Kellen to drop in there, Psycho. But Alfie is going to return to the fight, and it will be a full strength justice pushing back New York, securing themselves a 2-0 lead. Devastating for New York Excelsior with their own map pick onto Hollywood there as well. But it's exactly what we expected from the Excelsior, a dominant dive composition from them. Flora on the Hanzo with impressive work and Alfie on the Tracer as well. Here's that Blizzard and Kellen. You ain't going anywhere, my friend. Great shield he put up just in time. The sound barrier from them, well responded to. Empty God is going to have a later sound barrier though. This means Mira can feel confident about going aggressive. Look at him push past with this annihilation. And now he'll section off the support, which means Psycho is basically shark bait. Really fantastic push by Mirror there, and he's a very interesting player now, earning himself this slot here for the Washington Justice. We saw a lot of Ben Best starting this season for the Washington Justice, but I think that Mirror has really come into himself now and really showing off his aggressive tendencies he's worn there, I say. So many different hats in the league. Oh, yeah. And he's worn so many different jerseys, Johnny. He, um, he had that one match. Remember when he played four damage and tank in the same match? Yeah. The first player to do so in the Overwatch League play all three roles in the same match. So that really speaks to mirrors versatility and it's really you know something that a wild card that washington can use to their advantage playing the winston pretty capably on hollywood but now also showing off the ramatra and his aggressive tendencies that washington like to show off they like to go deep they like to go on these rotations and planks and that really caters to his playstyle new york here need to get fitz decent positioning Mirror, though, able to block much of this incoming damage via the kiosk. He wants to go aggressive here. Lep. Oh, there Lep. Goes. Absolutely run over. Mira swinging for the fence. Is there no one else, he says? Well, he gets a frosty reception for He's the remainder laughing. of New York. Yeah, why wouldn't you be? I'll be feeling on top of the world here, but there's still some work to be done. Alfie, able to block line of sight from that annihilation for most of this time, but there's 20 seconds left in the round of the stall. is underway here for the Washington Justice. Air Matrix in play for both Baptistes. All the windows of the world. Alpha, you were Blizzard here. A main wall, not Blizzard. Could be all you could ask for here. He actually has to ice block briefly, and he almost fails to catch Kellen before he gets out of the radius of the Blizzard. But a little bit of a tickle with the endothermic blaster secures the freeze. Now looking for Lip. Or rather, looking for Lep and Fitz right at the back there. And Mira is going deep. We talked about those aggressive tendencies, right? He can be calculated. Uh, and he can also go for the throw just like that. Great finish on the Washington Justice. Really elegant execution of multiple comps across multiple maps. We touted Johnny their flexibility, their versatility, and they've really demonstrated it again once more for us. Now there can be no doubt, this team kind of can do it all. This is a Washington Justice team that really has some momentum here in the lower bracket. I mean, the way they ended up here in the lower bracket was going to map five against the Boston Uprising. Right. A very strong opponent who are looking likely to qualify for the mid-season mana. So Washington Justice with this convincing 3-0 win, I don't think there's any reason we should count them out against the likes of Florida Mayhem or the Gladiators or Boston Uprising, of course. Yeah, I mean, again, like the, the Justice...